This is The Breakdown. Hey, I'm Bruce from The Pro's Closet, and today I'm giving you the breakdown on this 2020 Specialized Allay Sprint Disc. Now, if you don't know, cyclists around the world, they love, love, love the Allay Sprint. Crit racers, road racers, Strava KOM hunters, beginners, experts, anyone who cares about performance and value is gonna love this bike. In fact, I posted this very bike on my personal Instagram, and that photo received over three times more likes than my newborn baby. That is hard scientific evidence for how much people love the LA Sprint. Why they love it so much? Well, let's start at the beginning. Now in the 80s and 90s, the LA was specialized top of the line steel road bike, but eventually it had to transition to aluminum to keep up with the times. It had a few glory years being raced by the likes of Mario Cipollini, but eventually it was usurped by the carbon tarmac and the LA was relegated to a second tier budget bike. So tragic. But that all changed in 2013 when specialized designers decided to create the LA Sprint. Now they did two things that made this bike really special. The first is aero tubing. Now these hydroformed aluminum tubes are truncated airfoils and they make this bike more slippery than the first generation Venge. The second really cool thing that Specialized did is this proprietary welding technique. And I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce the first part of it, but we'll just call it smart weld. And smart weld basically moves the positions of the welds away from the joint. What this does is it creates a stiffer junction and it also removes excess material so it's lighter. You can really notice the smart weld on the head tube and at the bottom bracket on the LA Sprint. The bottom bracket is really cool. It's this hollow sort of clam shell that's two halves and it's brazed down the center and then it's welded into the tubes. Now, ultimately there were three goals with this bike. The designers wanted it to be more aero than the Venge, as stiff as the tarmac in the bottom bracket and within 100 to 150 grams of the tarmac's frame weight. And they f nailed it. No big deal. They eventually released the LA Sprint in 2015 as a one by only crit specific bike. That's pretty groundbreaking because in 2015, I wasn't even riding a one by mountain bike yet. Eventually a two by version came and then in 2019, it was updated with a disc brake version that you see here. Racers fell in love with this bike. Pro Continental teams used it. A lot of the best Cat 1 and pro racers I know in Colorado race it. Even three-time world champion, seven-time Tour de France Green Jersey winner, Peter Sagan raced this bike, not this one, his own bike, at the Down Under Classic Criterium in 2019. He didn't win, he came in second, but every bike that came after him, that's right, carbon. So the thing about the LA Sprint that I think makes it really special is the paint. Specialized gave the LA Sprint great paint even for the base models, but the stuff that really gets me going are these limited edition colorways that you can only get as a frame set. This one is the Meet Your Match paint job, one of two offered in 2020. It's got these really awesome holographic foil matchsticks. You know, it reminds me of the uh, Pokemon cards I used to trade as a kid. And then, uh, you know, you've got this really cool meet your match on the seat tube. It's really funny. It, it looked pixelated in photos. I thought photos weren't loading, but they definitely did it on purpose and made it look like that. Now, this frame, you know, is hard to find. It took me about a year to locate in my size and I paid way too much for it. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's take a closer look at the uh, build on this bike. For a drivetrain, this bike is built up with a SRAM Red 22 11-speed mechanical group. It's not the latest and greatest Axis wireless group, but I actually think it really suits a bike like this really well. It's got this awesome one-piece XG1190 cassette and, of course, gold chain. You have to have a gold chain. For the cranks, we have the Easton EC90 SL cranks. These are some of the lightest carbon cranks on the market. And they also have the Easton Cinch power meter spindle installed. So you always know how many watts you're putting out. One thing you might not notice unless you look really closely is the bottom bracket. Now, 
The Olay Sprint uses the OSBB, or Oversized Bottom Bracket Standard, that is essentially BB30. And a lot of riders, including me, they aren't big fans of BB30 because it has a tendency to creak and it can be kind of a pain to service. So what this has is a Cane Creek Hellbender 70 thread together bottom bracket. These sorts of thread together adapter bottom brackets are super popular. Reels Manufacturing also makes a bunch of these. They make, you know, creaking a non-issue and they make servicing the bottom bracket super easy in the future. The wheels are Envy Foundation 65 wheels. They're sort of a, you know, budget for Envy. Good mid-range wheel, very aerodynamic. 65 millimeters deep, which is super deep, maybe too deep for daily riding. You definitely feel them in crosswinds, but they look so good. They're set up tubeless with specialized S-Works turbo, 28 millimeter tires. I've tested this bike with 32 millimeter tires and they cleared fine. The rim brake versions have much less clearance. I've only been able to run 25 mil tires on those. So keep that in mind if you're a wide tire fan. And listen to this hub. It's got an i9 hub. Oh yeah. You do not need a bell with this bike. Everyone knows you're coming. Up front, we have the Easton EC70 Aero handlebars. They are 40 centimeters wide. Of course, the tops are untaped. I think an aero bike like this, it really deserves aero handlebars, even though they aren't quite as stiff as round handlebars, that's okay. Um, the stem is an Easton EC90 stem. It's 120 millimeters long, and then it's got the Wahoo Element Bolt head unit. The seat post is actually super interesting. Now this isn't the stock seat post. In fact, this is the stock seat post. This seat post was made by a nice gentleman in China that I found on eBay. And he makes carbon seat posts for a bunch of bikes. Why did I swap it out? Well, it's because the LA Sprint actually uses the same seat posts as the old Venge. And you might know they don't make the Venge anymore. So this is a 20 millimeter setback seat post and I need a zero millimeter setback seat post, which was impossible to find. So I had to go this route. I don't actually recommend it, but I've had no issues. Your mileage might vary. I don't personally worry about a seat post failing, but if you need a zero mil setback seat post, it's something to consider. Also, you might notice that the seat post has been trimmed. Now, if you got a short inseam, these actually are kind of too long and won't go far enough down. So it's kind of a common issue on the LA Sprint is these trimmed seat posts. We got the Physique Tempo. What is it called? It is the Physique Vento Argo saddle, I think. It's essentially a specialized power. Why didn't I just put on a specialized power, you ask? Well, they weren't in stock, that's why. So this is what I have for now. <laughs> so how does it ride, you ask? Well, the thing people always say about the Allais Sprint that is 100% true is that it is super, super stiff. When you get on the pedals, it just goes. It seems like every watt you put in gets put into the ground. Now, some bikes, they can feel kind of soggy when you get on them. This, I would describe as a toasted day-old baguette. Super, super hard. It might be too stiff for some people, but if you're looking for that sort of direct race bike feel, this is a great option. You do, you know, try to avoid deep cracks, potholes, that sort of stuff will really make you clench up. But my recommendation is run the widest tires possible and it actually improves the comfort a lot. The handling is super agile. It's perfect for bunch racing, anything like that. And you know, it's aluminum. It's not a featherweight super bike, but it's not heavy either. This build comes in at 17 pounds and 12 ounces, which is super respectable for an aluminum bike and it will not hold you back on the climbs. Now, if you're looking for a brand new Allais Sprint, you might notice there kind of aren't any. 21 models have been out of stock for a while. And if you check the specialized website, it doesn't seem like there's a 22 model. Maybe they're killing it off, which might be absolutely tragic, but the internet rumors seem to say that there is a new one coming. It sounds like the big change that's gonna happen is a threaded bottom bracket, which I am super stoked for. But, you know, if you want an LA Sprint now, don't worry. 
because the pros closet has plenty of pre-owned Allay sprints in stock. So we got you covered. Hopefully you liked learning about the 2020 Specialized Allay Sprint Disc. Be sure to check out theprosclosets.com for more awesome bikes like this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I should be wearing a helmet. Hey, Pooch. Oh, he's so fuzzy. <laughs>